Today we're going to do an activity to practice our fine motor skills, our gross motor skills, and we're going to be practicing with our colors and we'll be making different sounds. Okay, so what I've done is I've had a look around the house to see what I can find and I found lots of little bottles and containers. Now I've tried to look for things that have different kinds of openings so that the children can practice how to open the bottles. Now this one's quite interesting because this one they need to pop with their thumbs like this. It's quite a hard one to master with little hands. This one can open two ways. This one they can open by twisting the bottle or it also has a little flip top here which can be a little bit more challenging. And now we've got ice cream tubs. You can see we like our ice cream in this house. And this one's quite nice. Don't, don't be too worried if the lids look too big for their hands, because it's really good for them to be able to stretch their fingers and try and master twisting the lids on and off uh, using their palmer grasp. So we've got two bottles there. Then also I've mixed things up a little bit. We've got a lock and lock box, which of course practices the pincer grasp and their fine motor skills here and also just an empty cardboard box because it's just a different way of opening and closing different items we can use to put things in. Then I went around the house and had a look to see what we could put in our different bottles and boxes. So I found some pasta. Now I know that we're all trying to save as much food as we can so I've just got a little bit of pasta here to play with and I'm going to put that into my lock and lock box. See now we're here we're practicing our fine motor skills and our hand eye coordination. Got a few in there. Got to practice putting the lids back on. Tricky. This one. Now for this one I found some pom-poms. We practice our colors. A green pom-pom or a big yellow pom-pom. This one's a sparkly pink and blue pom-pom. And let's put a couple of little yellow pom-poms and a pink one very nice okay close that all up now for this one I might put some colored buttons I've got a yellow button we can also count the buttons as we put them in two three four five six six colored buttons all different colors now let's think hmm in this box I found some small toys around the house. There's a little Buzz Lightyear. He's gonna go in. And look, there's a little little Roo from Winnie the Pooh. Let's see, I'll put a few more of those in. Close up the box. And I think in this one, I might get some rice. Oh, let's put some rice in there. That makes a very interesting sound. I think I might also put some rice in this little jar here because this is a nice little ceramic jar. It might make a quite a nice sound. Let's see. Oh, it does. It's like a little tinkling sound. Okay. So now, once we've practiced putting our lids on and off, we can then go on to give them a little shake and see what sounds we can make. So have a look. Does this one make a noise? Oh, it does, but it's very quiet. It's a very quiet noise, that one. What about this one with our buttons? Oh, my! That's a big loud noise. And then we've got our rice. Oh, I like that one. I like a little shaker noise. And our one. That's a cute noise. And last of all, our pasta. This is such a great activity. Hours of fun. You can use anything that you like and it'll be all the things that you can find around your house. Have fun.